Hi folks, welcome to another Python QGIS tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about how you can use um, Python and QGIS, PyQGIS, to automate creation of new fields for a vector layer. So you can see here that I have the stream order layer. I'll open up the attribute table for you. I have uh, six columns here. We have the arc ID, the grid code, the from node, to node, and the length. So we're going to use our Python console to create some new fields um, based on functions with QGIS or other fields. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. First, we'll open up our Python console from the plugins menu. We'll open up the editor. Okay. And we'll start a new script over here. All right, so the first thing I need to do is uh, we'll define the vector layer. So we'll go fn equals c temp outputs stream order. And I'm going to use, uh, I have a copy of this. So we'll use the copy. That way we don't mess up the original. I'm just going to remove this from here. Okay. Oh, what did I do? Sorry, let's remove layer. I duplicated the layer. That was the problem. Let's remove layer. Okay. Um, and so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to load this as a vector layer. And so let's go layer equals QGS vector layer um, FN we'll give it an empty layer name and then OGR okay and now we want to get the provider for this vector layer so we'll call it PV for provider and we'll do layer um, this data provider that's not quite right. let me able to check let me double check that real quick so it should just be a lowercase d provider all right and once we have that data provider that will allow us to get uh to alter the fields for this layer and the way you can do that is with pv dot add attributes so this will allow us to add um, some fields to our layer so we're going to go ahead and add two fields here. We're going to add one. We're going to calculate length again. And then we'll do another one, which is going to be a random calculation that shows how we can use these fields for calculations. And so to do that, we're going to pass it a list. And in this list, we're going to have QGS field. And each field, we're going to give it a name. So our name here is going to be, um, we'll call it, length, um, we'll call it len, test, in meters, so we can differentiate from our original one, and then let's create another field, um, oh, I didn't mean to do that, we need to, sorry, we need to give this a type, which is going to be a Q variant type, um, and this is going to be a double. Let me just make sure I have the syntax correct to make sure double uh, is lowercase and not capitalized. And indeed, this should be capitalized. Okay. So now we can hit comma. We'll do a backslash enter to start a new line. And we're going to have another QGS field. And we'll call this uh, calc. Where we'll perform some kind of calculation. And this will also be... A double okay so that will add those fields to our layer and the next step is we need to create the expressions that we're going to use um, to populate these new fields with values so first let's do layer dot update fields and then let's create two expressions so our first expression, we want QGS expression. 
And here we just want to calculate the area. And so we're going to put this in quotes. And dollar sign area is what we can use to calculate area. And so if you forget some of these field calculator uh, options, let's just go into our browser and pull this file back in really quick. Pull this back in. Layers. Let's open the attribute table. This is the field calculator. And here are these... Uh, operators and functions you have. So we have geometry, dollar sign area, return is the area of the current feature, area, um, that's the polygon, area of a geometry polygon object. Actually, we wanted length, didn't we? We didn't want area now that we mention it. So there's your length. Return is the length of a line string returns the number of characters in a string or the length of a geometry line string. Okay, so we want the dollar sign length. And we'll close this out again. Let's remove that. Okay, so we're going to calculate area. And then for expression 2 equals QGS expression. Um, Let's just do a division here, and we should get around one for this answer. Let's do so. Let's do. Uh, let me make sure I do this right. Length m divided by len test m. So we'll divide this new length column created by the existing length column, and will give us an idea of, of how much they differ. And I just need to uh, adjust the syntax here. The fields need to be in double quotes. So we'll have single quotes on the outside, double quotes for each field on the inside. Okay, so now we have those expressions. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what we need to do is apply those expressions to the fields. Okay, so we just, up, we just created these fields and updated our layer. We now have calculations that involve those fields. Um, now we need to run those calculations. So now we just need to give the context for where all this occurs. So context equals QGS expression context. Okay, so now we need to go context dot append scopes. And so this is going to just, like I said, this context is a QGS expression context. We're going to append the scopes. This is going to tell us where to run these expressions. It's basically what we're doing right now, okay? Okay, so we need to go QGS expression context utils. And then, so I don't remember if there's parentheses in that or not. Then we need to do um, global... Oh man, sorry, I forgot what this is. Let me double check this again real quick. Global project layer scopes. Okay, and I don't know if there are parentheses in that or not. We'll double check that here in just a sec. Okay, so that tells us, oh, and then we need to, sorry, this is where we need to put in our uh, layer. And so let's just hit backslash enter here so we can see everything we've written. We need an extra parenthesis on the end of that. Good deal. Now we're ready to where we can do the calculations on each feature. So we're going to do with edit layer. So we're going to edit that layer. So colon for F in features. Or sorry, this should be layer dot features. So we're going to loop through each feature in the layer while editing the layer and perform these calculations. And this should be layer dot get features. We're going to do context dot set feature f. And now that we have that feature set, we can start to apply our expression which we can do with F. 
And here we're going to specify the column name. So we're going to do len test m equals, I think we need context dot, let me double check this. I'm sorry, I'm a little hazy on the context, or on the syntax here. And this is going to be expression one dot evaluate on the context. Okay, and then F, we're going to do, uh, what was this one? This was calc, calc equals expression two dot evaluate context. Okay, all right, so that should give us the uh, values you want in those fields. And now at the end here, let's see if we, uh, oops, sorry about that. Let's see if we can print out um, a result. But first, do layer.update feature F. And let's go print, let's go, sorry. We need to print this out here, hold on, give me just a sec. We don't need to print it out, sorry. We don't need to print it out, we'll just run this. Um, and then we will check our layer that's over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and click run here and see if our code works. Okay, and we get an error. Line 17, start editing. Let me just check that out. Okay, so we need, I misspelled this. I, I forgot to put a U in here and I forgot to put spaces uh, before and after copy. And then this should be iface .add vector layer. Um, the vector layer needs to be in the interface in order for it to edit. And that was our main problem. So I'm gonna remove it out of here now that it's been added. Okay, and then I've also misspelled expression two down here. So this needs to have an extra E in it. And now let's click run and this should give us a working script here. Okay, looks like things have run successfully. Let's open the attribute table. Okay, you can see we had some other ones. We had our test and our calc. So they've been added, but we don't have any values populated in there. So let's see if we can find out what might be causing that problem. Okay, guys, I must apologize. I made a big mistake. So I had this as area, which lines don't have area, which is causing us problems. So this should be length. Um, so here's our shape file. Let's open it up real quick. And you can see we have those calculated now. Um, you'll also see that I have all these other ones that got added because I messed up. So I'll show you how to delete those fields real quick. So if we double click here or right click, go to properties, go to source fields. Um, let's just go like this and we'll hold shift. We'll hit edit, delete the fields, edit again, save. Now the fields are gone. Now let's remove this layer. Okay. And I switched this just back to QGS vector layer, by the way. Okay. And now once we have this code with length here, we can click run. Now we'll go back to the browser. We'll add that one back in. We'll go to our layers. We'll open the attribute table. And you can see that we have our length test calculated here. Our calc didn't get calculated that time, surprisingly. Um, and I wonder if it's actually because... Uh, we hadn't updated the feature yet, so if we copy this and paste it here twice, we'll update that feature each time, then maybe it will work. So let's give that a try one more time. Remove layer. Okay. Let's click run. And now let's add that layer back in and see if we uh, did that successfully. And there you go. So now we've, now we've done the calc. We can see that these added these separate columns. 
I'm just going to remove those one more time and make sure this is actually working. Um, as you can see, we've had some problems to troubleshoot here mostly because I have missed some things as I've done this, so I apologize for that. But we will get this working for you. Now let's click Run. And let's go to our browser. Let's add that back in. And Layers, Open Attribute Table. And it still didn't work. But that, like as I said, that's because we're trying to use this column um, that we've just created in order to do this calculation. So the way we can get this to work and we can do it right here is we'll go with edit layer for f in layer dot features context dot set feature f f calc equals well we just need to copy this code actually we'll control x from here down and we'll paste it right here let's just knock that back and now we should let's just uh, go to properties source fields select those delete them save them close that remove this okay and run this and we get an error with edit layer we need a colon there so let's run that and we still have another we need a colon here man i'm having a lot of errors here guys and let's tab that over and now let's click run now it looks like it's run correctly let's add that back in Let's go back to layers let's check out our properties we have our fields let's check out our attribute table and there we go now we've calculated that finally got there I'm sorry for all the errors here I'm gonna leave this as it is though so you can see that when I code this is how it goes a lot of the times I do make mistakes there are errors um, but we work through them so I'm sorry that this is kind of all over the place we did get it figured out in the end here is the final code. I'll get this big so you can pause it on this screen and write down that final code that worked if you want to. Um, as always, check out the opensourceoptions.com website. There will be courses on there soon, um, along with other uh, information. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.